if it's your first time to come across this channel, please consider subscribing. Support this channel by subscribing and don't forget to press the notification bell. It will be the only way that you'll be updated when we upload a new video. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. We appreciate it. For the new subscribers, please consider subscribing to this channel. By the way, don't forget to press the notification bell. It will be the only way you'll be alerted when we upload a new video. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. We are still looking at Oman Lebalu. What does the law talk about probation? What does the law talk about gratitude? What does the law talk about entitlements? And today's video, we are going to look at the probation period in Oman as according to the Oman law. First of all, before even we talk about anything, we need to clearly understand what is a probation period, that is one. Then we need also to make a little bit of comparison with the other Gulf countries. If we can try to mention a few and know what is their probation period, it can help you to answer that question rightly. Most of us will come, or most of you have come to these Gulf countries. You come. You're sponsored by a company, you're sponsored by an employer. Normally for the Gulf countries, it's normally the national that sponsors the people to come. You must be under a sponsor in one way or the other. That is their arrangement. That is what the global laws talk. That's what the global laws tell us. And that's what they really uh, put in place to govern people that are coming outside, uh, foreign people coming into their country. But remember, probation periods to different Gulf countries is a given amount of time, depending on how much you agree or what is agreed in the contract. But controversy, before you get to look at what is agreed in the contract or what you get to do in the contract, is that normally this probation period, you'll find that it is applicable to all the people, all the L employees that will come into the country at one way or the other. And when you look at, for example, people who are working in Dubai or people working in Qatar, where we have three months probation, we have six months probation, that is according to their to do their rules or according to their local laws and they have reasons why. And you may find that this will differ according to different categories of people. Let's say for example, people who are working in security, you find they have a different probation period. People working as domestic uh, workers, domestic helpers, they will have a different probation period. And you'll have people who are working in the professional period, they'll have domestic period, uh, different probation period, depending on what kind of uh, profession or what kind of speciality of the job you're going to do at that time, and which governs what you call your contract. So therefore, a probation period is that period that really starts when you get that job. It may be a full-time or a part-time job. The period you start that job on-site, it will depend on what is agreed in the contract, contrary to that period. Why is it there? Why is it like this, what you call a probation period, when you get this work visa or you get employment, especially away from your country? or even anywhere when you're given one. It is the employer wants to assess, he wants to assess, he or she or the company wants to assess, is the person we are recruiting capable? Is the person we are recruiting around? Is the person going to do us work? Will be a very uh, variable person or is going to be a person who's going to add on the company? Well, that is what normally happens. But remember still, under the probation periods, there's a lot of things that get to look at as your employer. There's a lot of things you get to assess. Even the government itself, there's a lot of things you need to follow. That is why under the probation period, you'll have to go for medicals, you'll have to go for this, you have to go for this, you have to go to this. Until you are verified, you have to go for fingerprints, you pass the medical, you're fit, then you go for fingerprints, after fingerprints, it's after the probation period, you find yourself happy what you call a residence permit. And normally, for people be, after before even finishing the residential period, you never have to have your passport because it will be they will be using your passport and your personality to assess to go document this to document this at one moment. So at that time, the employer is trying to assess the nature of the person is recording into the company or the nature of the person is recording into business. Fitkale in the fittings part of it all, in the capability part of it all and in the work part of it all. So it becomes under what you call the probation period. And I say different countries 
have different probation periods. They have different probation periods put forward. That is what I can say. So I'm just going to read you a small bit of the summary. What is summarized in the Oman Lebanon? What it talks about the probation period in one or the other. So let us try to see what it says. Article 24 of the Oman Lebanon lays down that the maximum probation period for a worker is three months and that either party may terminate the contract during the probationary period by giving the other party less than seven days of notice. Hope it's very clear. In Oman, the Oman law states that the probation period should be three months. And for those three months, the employee and the employer, you can decide to terminate the contract after the probation period. Hope I'm getting it right. It is different from other Gulf countries. This Oman law, you are serving a probation period of three months, but under three months, you can terminate yourself or you can try to terminate the contract. The employer can terminate you or you can decide not to work for that company by giving your employer seven days of notice. And the employer, if it's to terminate you, under what you call the probation period, after the probation period, he will have to give you seven days of notice so that you all both of you get to depart together in harmony. That's what the law says. So therefore, sometime to some cases, someone would ask me a question, what happens after the probation period? The two things that happens after the probation period. One, the employer may not be happy with your service or may not be satisfied with your service. For example, your medical fitness may not be good for the company, or you may not be one, you may not have it, you may not have that value that they need to add for that company. So what happens? The employer will, will, will terminate you off by giving you seven days notice. That is what the law says under Article 24 of the Oman Nebaburu. Then still on the same situation, on another case, it is a situation whereby you yourself, you may fail the requirements needed by the company or needed by the government for you to work in that country. And what are the, some of those requirements that we're talking about? We talk about the fitness of it all, the medical fitness. Before you get to doing these jobs, you get to do in these Gulf countries, any work that you get to do, they need to take what you call the medical test. They will test for whatever they want to, to see that you are not contagious to the people you find there and you are fit for that employment. So once you fail the medical fitness, you are unfit for that job. You are unfit with some kind of kosher diseases that are being discovered. They, the employer has no right, has no, has no choice but just to let you go and go back to your country. So normally, in all in all, what you need to know that these countries have different probation periods. And but for specifically for the person who asked about Oman, Oman, the probation period is three months. Three months you can terminate the contract, they can terminate you, and between that period of terminating, between of uh, terminating is you have to give the two parties have to give each other seven days or seven days uh, as what we call notice hope i've tried to share something thank you so much for coming back to this channel by the way if you are new to this channel consider subscribing support this channel by subscribing don't forget to click the bell icon don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to put a comment in the comment section i'll always be more than happy to get back to you uh, share if you feel there's something good you're picking out of these videos, please share these videos so that you can have the friends share the very right information. Thank you so much for watching the videos this channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. Don't forget to tune in again. I'll see you again as we try to see more of uh, more of uh, the entire more of the entitlements and what is accrued in what we call the Oman law. Thank you so much. See you again next video. Mix Creation TV. Don't forget to subscribe.